write 8051c program to scan a series of 32 bit numbers to find how many are negative so let us do this problem so open kill software okay then uh, file create project new project vision and uh, you can select 8051 you can refer previous videos to create uh, how to create a new project and all so i'm going to add new file this is my project so i'm going to add a new file for this add new item to the source c file so i'm counting number of negative numbers count negative num will automatically add that c and type program here include register 51.h header file void main open bracket close bracket unsigned long term array these are the five random numbers okay ff223344 and all are actually 32 bits so that's why it is declared as unsigned long long means 32 bit it can store similarly you can do if it is 16 bit then you can declare it as instead of long you declare it as int if it is a 8 bit you declare it as char so temporary uh, one variable we declare to compare and um, here array five data are stored and one more next line is unsigned char i uh, let the uh, let us store the number of positive numbers in uh, pos number of negative numbers in neg okay negative pos means positive numbers and negative numbers both i am counting so initially assume that carry is equal to zero carry is a flag bit okay so initially it is zero so first uh, we have to read one by one data first data array of zero data and we have to check uh, in the uh, digital circuits okay how to identify the number is negative means msb the so msb is one then the number is negative if msb is zero the number is positive so it is series of 32 bit numbers so that's why it declared as long out of 32 bit numbers if msb is one in the 32 bit numbers if msb is one then uh, we can consider as that number is negative so now for i is equal to 0, i less than 5, i plus plus, because we are doing uh, array with a size of 5. So we are comparing uh, i value less than 5. So open bracket, initially i value is 0, i less than 5. So initially we have declared temp also of long type only. So temp is loaded with array of i left field by 1. So array of i is, i value is 0 i value is 0 means it will take the first data array of 0 which is uh, 0 ff 223344 then it is going to left shift by 1 so once you do left shift the left uh, msb bit left side uh, msb bit will go to the carry position after that we are checking the carry whether carry becomes 1 or not if carry is equal to 1 then uh, we have to consider that number as negative and you have to increment the negative number so once you uh, initialize unsigned care i for positive negative uh, default it will load it with uh, zero values only so now that zero value is incremented by one otherwise what if carry is not equal to one that means ms uh, the msb of the 32 bit is zero so that zero came to carry position so carry is equal to zero so if carry is not equal to one negative number if carry is equal to 0 then you have to increment positive number is a variable pos is a variable uh, we are doing pass plus plus means variable value is incremented by 1 after this again we are resetting that carry to 0 and i plus plus will take place so i plus plus means now i value is 1 it will take the second data from the array array of 1 uh, AA 336699. Again, in the temp uh, temporary location, array of that uh, array of one element will be left shift by one. Here also, we are going to check carry is equal to one or not. If carry comes, means MSB was one, and we are going to increment that negative counter. Else, 
I have to increment positive counter. So similarly, this will repeat uh, for i is equal to 2, i is equal to 3, i is equal to 4. So when i is equal to 4, it is compared with last data. It is also going to left shift by 1. If msb is 1, then negative counter will be incremented. Otherwise, positive will be incremented. After that, i value becomes 5. Then uh, this condition fails, i less than 5. So it will come out of for loop. So now we have to send, uh, you can check the output in uh, two variables, pause and negative. Otherwise, we can also send the count values to port. Port 0 is sended with the negative value, the counter negative value counter. And P1, port 1 is sent, uh, is given with uh, positive. So let me compile this program. Zero errors, start debug. Okay, we are using uh, port 0 and port 1. And we have to open local stack. Call stack window. So it will show this. This is a temporary value. This is a array. Okay, let us start with this. The first statement is the marker. You observe this marker. So first, the array is initialized with these five datas. It came here, all the five data came here. After that, initially carry flag is also zero. This is a carry flag. Carry becomes zero. We initialize carry to zero. This is a register window, this is project window. After that, for i is equal to zero, you can check high value here in the call stack and locals i value is actually 0 now initially i is equal to 0 i less than 5 so it will execute this in the temporary location array of 0 is taken and it is left shift by 1 this ff 2 2 3 3 4 4 f means 1 1 1 1 2 means 0 0 1 0 3 means 0 0 1 1 4 means 0 1 0 0 so these extra digits you write in 32 bit form left shift by one then in the temporary location you will get that shifted value in the temporary initially uh, array of five value original value is ff223344 after left shift by one what happens you observe in temp so uh, it becomes fe446688 44 four, if you left shift it becomes eight 3 also if you left shift it becomes 6, 2 if you left shift it becomes 4, and left side one more uh, last f no that will go to carry position. So you can see the carry here. In the register window carry flock program status word you can observe carry flock. If carry is equal to 1 then we have to increment negative. So negative is incremented. Similarly next uh, it will reinitialize that uh, reset the value carry of carry value to zero. Carry is equal to zero. So carry becomes zero. After that, it will perform i plus plus. So now i value is actually one. After increment i value and i value is less than five. Okay, so it is going to once again take the second data array of one. It will take a three three six six nine nine, and temper is loaded with the left shift of this value. It is going to left shift this, and it will come here in the temporary. So if you left shift a three three six six nine nine, you write this a as one zero one zero, three as zero zero one one, six as zero one one zero, zero zero one one zero, nine as one zero zero one. In 32 bit form, left shift by 1, then you will get this. And again, here also you can see after left shift, carry bit is 1. If carry bit is 1, once again it is also a negative number. 
so negative counter will be incremented by one next is what next next i plus plus next once again uh, reset the carry value to zero reset the carry value to zero i plus plus will takes place now i value is two i value is two two is less than five so array of two will be taken this is zero 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 one one means what zero 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 one so left msb is what one zero 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 one means msp is zero if i left shift this number one becomes two two becomes four three becomes six four becomes eight so you can observe the temp value and also observe carry carry becomes zero after shifting also carry is zero now four left shift okay zero one zero zero becomes one zero 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 okay three becomes six two becomes four one becomes two and carry is equal to zero so it is uh, after shifting all the 32 bits by one time uh, in the carry position we are having zero so only if carry is equal to one negative counter is going to increment else if carry is zero then you have to increment positive number here still positive number is showing still zero because first two numbers was negative only now actually the counter of positive numbers will increment Okay, one positive number, two negative numbers till now. Now again carry initialize reinitialize to zero. Again I plus plus. Now I value is three. So again compare next I have array of three. Again here what we have is three. Three means what? Zero zero one one. So here also MSB bit. MSB bit. Uh, is actually zero and zero will go to carry so carry is also zero and uh, after left shift six becomes c double of if i left shift uh, in the binary it is nothing but multiply by two so six six becomes 12 cc five five becomes a a four four becomes eight eight three three becomes six six and msb still it is uh, zero so carry becomes zero now also carry is zero so we have to increment positive number counter so two positive number two negative numbers so not let us check the last number in the array so i value is four four is less than five so two one eight means what one zero 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 eight means one zero 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 so msb is one so you are going to get carry is equal to one. If carry is equal to one, you have to increment negative counter. Okay. So this is the now i value becomes five. I value becomes five. And five is not less than five. So that's why this condition fails. So it comes out of for loop. Now we have to send port zero the value of negative port 1 value of positive initially port 0 i opened with the peripheral i bar ports port 0 and port 1 are open now actually port 0 should indicate negative value 3 here 3 will come he is coming here next in the port 1 this is option okay 2 is coming actually in the program only you need to count how many are negative but i am showing both positive and negative in one port it is showing positive number in the port zero it is showing negative numbers in port one it is showing positive number if they ask find a number of negative numbers in an array of 10 numbers means in the for loop instead of 5 you change this one to 10 value or any value you can take and if they ask only 8 bit, declare it as char. If they ask 16 bit, declare it as int. If they ask 8 bit, declare it as char. Thank you.